Hey, good morning guys and welcome back to another one. We don't have a whole lot going on today, but we're checking for waterfowl. All right, folks, we got less than a month till opening day of waterfowl season. There is an early goose season. I don't know that we're gonna partake in that, but we will be out there for the actual waterfowl season. Nate and I are out here at one of our spots. We're at the Y. You guys have all seen this out here before. Looks to me like the farmer's been busy. Paul's out here putting up a duck blind, which is which is fantastic. Because normally, normally I would have a chair sat down in the weeds and my decoys out in the water out there. Look at this. We are styling now. So this thing looks like it's about 10 feet long. Four by four posts in there. Nice big platform, couple more boards to put on. This thing is looking fantastic. And I'll give you the view from this blind out onto the Y. So it looks like we sit right here. And there's the view. Now, for those of you that hunt waterfowl, you're gonna understand this. I can just picture minus 10, six inches of snow on the ground, a little bit of ice, not much, and the duck's going crazy here. Thermos full of coffee. Can hardly wait guys i'm shooting everything on my gopro so i'm not sure how well you can see it but uh right up there is a tree stand right up there because the deer use this dike here as a traffic point now to be honest i really wasn't expecting to see a whole lot of ducks down here right now it's midday it's uh pushing about 85 almost 90 degrees so they're not going to be here. They're probably out on the big water. But the wood ducks use these canals here all the time. They're here for probably maybe about a month during season. Then they vacate. Then the mallards and the teal come in. Should be a good time. Should be a real good time. Every year, uh, we got beans over in the field over here right now. Every year, right along this edge over here, it floods. There's usually probably anywhere from six inches to maybe a foot and a half of water. As long as it doesn't lock up, that thing will hold ducks and geese. This bean field is usually packed with ducks and geese. The uh, field across the canal is always holding waterfowl, as is the field over there. And I've got another property owned by another gentleman about a kilometer and a half up the road. It's a big pond. He's actually got two. One of them is huge, and it holds a lot of ducks and geese. And uh, we've got that one to hunt as well. But we're not going to make our way down there today. We just thought we'd come down to the Y and see if there's anything here. Kind of knew there wouldn't be because, like I said, the heat's a little much right now. Still good to stand here and have a look, though. Nate and I are going to make our way back to the truck. We're going to drive by the other ponds just to see if there's anything in there. Uh, on any given day, the ducks and geese are in those ponds. Hopefully today they're there. But again, like I said, I wasn't expecting anything here. Simply because of the heat and they've got... I think I mentioned it before, there's probably 50 to 75 miles of these canals that run in amongst these properties here. We live in an awesome place over here. Well, I don't live here. Paul lives here, but he lets me come here whenever I want, which is appreciative. The other thing that tells you it's just about time, the weeds are turning color.
All right, sorry about the wind, guys. The other ponds over there didn't have any uh, ducks or geese in them. But you know, I cannot run down here without stopping at a ditch. Let's have a look, see if we can catch a couple of bass while we're out here. Gotta get something. We got nothing, and I do mean nothing. Got to be the heat, got to be the sun. Can't be my skills. Anyway, time to move on. All right, well, not a whole lot in today's video, but scouting is something that's got to be done. We got to find out where they're coming to, coming from, and I already know they're coming from the lake and some pretty large marshes out at the mouth of the Thames. Uh, I didn't get it on video. My lens wouldn't go far enough. Story of my life. There was probably about 60 or 70 geese and probably about 20 or 30 ducks on the big pond on the separate property that I mentioned. Not the one Paul owns, but the other one. Uh, nothing in Paul's pond at the time. Doesn't mean nothing. Nothing in the nothing in the creeks. Still doesn't mean nothing. Daytime, they're gone. They're out at the marsh and they're out at the lake and they're out there feeding. And then they come on back in the evening, so... Uh, I'm gonna try and get down to the down to the creek first thing in the morning just to see if I can see them flying around See if I can get some video and Scouting's all part of it. We got to get the decoys ready got to get the weights put on them and we got to get ready for deer season Gotta love it. Gotta love it. It's time for everything to start changing. We were up north not long ago and The leaves are turning up there already so uh it's time. It's time. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, best part about today was I got to spend some time with Nate. It doesn't matter what we're doing. As long as we're riding around the back roads together, we're having a good time. Anyway, you all leave me a comment down below. Let me know you guys are getting ready for waterfowl season or whatever it is that floats your boat. See you all in the next one. Get out there and enjoy the outdoors. Later.